हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दी माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय सेल्फ दत्तु पटेल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम एल जे आई टी अर्ले लेक्चर वी आर ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द रो इकोलन फॉर्म एंड रिड्यूस रो इकोलन फॉर्म टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रैंक ऑफ अ मेट्राइसिस बेसिकली देर आर द्री मेथड्स टू फाइंडिंग द रैंक फर्स्ट वन डिटर्मिनेंट मेथड सेकेंड वन एलिमेंट्री रो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मेथड थर्ड वन विद्यार्थ ऑफ नॉर्मल फॉर्म लेट सी स्टार्ट विथ फर्स्ट रैंक ऑफ मैट्रिक्स बाय द रो इकोलन फॉर्म और रिड्यूस रो इकोलन फॉर्म और एलिमेंट्री ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फॉर द नॉन जीरो मैट्राइसिस कैपिटल ए और नंबर आर इज सेड टू बी रैंक ऑफ कैपिटल ए इफ देर इज एटलीस्ट One non-zero minors of order R, or we can say every minors of order R plus one, if n is zero. In other words, the largest order of a non-zero minors of the matrix is called the rank of a matrix. The rank of matrix is is denoted by rho of a or rank of a. Or other words, we can say that number of non-zero rows that is also called the rank of matrices let's see few nodes the rank of non zero matrices is greater than or equal to 1 another one is the rank of null matrices is zero let's see properties of the rank of matrices first one the rank of matrices remains unchanged by elementary transformation for example a which is similar to b then rank of a Is equal to rank of B. Another one is uh, the rank of the transpose of matrices is same as of the original matrices. That means rank of A, which is same as rank of A transpose. Third one, the rank of the product of two matrices cannot be exceed rank of either matrices. Here, capital A and B are two matrices. Then Product of that matrices that is a dot b, then rank of that product matrices that is row of a b, which is less than or equal to row of a, or we can write row of a b which is less than or equal to row of b. If capital A is any m cross n matrices, then one less than or equal to row of a which is less than or equal to minimum m comma n. Let's see. Example: Find the rank of following matrices by the reduced to the equivalent form. Matrix which is one minus two minus three, zero two two, three minus two zero. Here, firstly, whatever the matrix which is given, that is our matrix let capital A equal to one minus two minus three, zero two two, three minus two zero. Reducing to this particular matrices to the equivalent form. With the help of row operation, so first making the leading element in first row and bottom element of that leading element making the zero with the help of row equivalent form. So here applying the R three minus C R one that will give you one minus two minus three zero two two zero four nine. Now making the leading element in second row. Then, with the help of row operation, then dividing the second row by two, that means one half R two, that will give you one minus two minus three, zero one one zero four nine. Now, second row has a leading one, and bottom element of that particular leading element making the zero, that will give you, and applying the operation R three minus four R two, and our matrices become. One minus two minus three zero one one zero zero five. Now in third row, making the leading element, that dividing the third row by five, that will give you one minus two minus three zero one one zero zero one. Here, in this particular matrices, total number of non-zero rows means the number of non-zero rows in the row equivalent form that is three. Then rank of matrices that is three, which is denoted by row of A equal to three, 
or we can simply write rank of a equal to 3. Let's see one more example. Find the rank of the matrices by reducing it to equivalent form which is 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, minus 3, minus 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, minus 1. First, making the first leading element in first row, here it is obviously that is in form of leading element that is 1. Now, reducing the matrices A to the equivalent form with the help of row operation, then with the help of leading element, making the bottom entries of that particular column 0 with the help of that leading element. Then here applying the row operation which is R2 plus 2 R1 and R3 minus R1 and that will give you 1, 2, 3 minus 1, 0, 3, 3 minus 3, 0, minus 2, minus 2, 2, 0, 1, 1, minus 1. Now in first column we have a leading element 1 and bottom entries are the 0. Now, in the second column, making the leading element 1, then with the help of interchanging the row, then or uh, divide by 3 in second row and divide by 2 in third row. As you like, if interchanging the fourth and second row interchange or divide by 3, you can apply any operation. Here, I am applying the Divide by 3 in second row and divide by 2 in third row. That will give you 1, 2, 3, minus 1, 0, 1, 1, minus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, minus 1. Now, with the help of leading element in second row, making the below entry to the 0, that they, for that, applying the operation R3 plus R2 and R4 minus R2. And that will give you 1, 2, 3, minus 1, 0, 1, 1, minus 1. And all the elements of third and fourth row are 0. That means here total number of non-zero rows in this particular row equivalent form is 2. That means rank of matrices is 2 or row of A equal to 2 or we can write rank of A equal to 2. Now. Let's start with another method to finding the rank. Another method which is by reducing the matrices into the normal form. If non-zero matrix capital A of order M cross N can be reduced to any one of the following forms. IR 0 0 0, IR in column 0, IR in row 0 or simply IR. This all for the form of the normal form by applying the finite number of elementary transformation then it is called the normal form of the matrices here i r indicate by the identity matrices of the order r where r which is less than m and r which is less than n here o indicate by the zero matrices of any order and R is called the rank of matrices. Here, our answer making the in form of identity matrix means suppose 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, and last one column, two column, or three column, or any number of column are 0. In bottom side, one row, two row, or any number of rows are 0. That means our matrices is form of I3, 0, 0, 0. That is the first form of normal form or any form of that particular matrices that is called a normal form. Let's, let's see one example. Reduce the matrices A, 2, 1, 3, minus 1, 3, minus 1, 2, 0, 1, 3, 4, minus 2, 4, minus 2, 1, 1 to the normal form and find its rank. Here, we finding the rank with the help of normal form means in this particular method, we can apply row operation as well as column operation both for the finding the normal form. Except this particular method, remaining all these methods of the matrices, we apply only row operation. Only one, one and only one method, we can apply row, row operation as well as column operation both.
let's see firstly whatever the matrices which is given that is l let a equal to 2 1 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 2 0 1 3 4 minus 2 4 minus 2 1 1 now making the first row of the leading for that interchanging the first and third row and that will give you 1 3 4 minus 2 3 minus 1 2 0 2 1 3 minus 1 4 minus 2 1 1 now first leading element 1 and bottom entries of that particular element making the 0 with the help of row operation then applying the operation that is r2 minus 3 r1 r3 minus 2 r1 r4 minus 4 r1 that will give you 1 3 1 3 4 minus 2 0 minus 5 minus 5 3 0 minus 10 minus 10 6 0 minus 14 minus 15 9 now first leading element 1 bottom entries are 0 now with the help of that leading element side entries making the 0 for that we are applying the column operation then here apply the column operation which is c2 minus 3c1 c3 minus 4c1 c4 plus 2c1 that will give you 1 0 0 0 0 minus 5 minus 5 3 0 minus 10 minus 10 6 0 minus 14 minus 15 9 now with the help of second row apply the operation in third row and fourth row then r3 minus 2 r2 and r4 minus 3 r2 that will give you 1 triple 0 0 minus 5 minus 5 3 4 times 0 and 0 1 0 0 now interchanging the fourth and second row for the making the leading element 1 in second row that will give you 1 triple 0 0 1 0 0 4 times 0 and 0 minus 5 minus 5 3 now with the help of that particular leading element making the 0 of that column of the minus 5 position for that applying the operation which is r4 plus 5 r2 that will give you 1 triple 0 0 1 0 0 4 times 0 0 0 minus 5 3 now interchanging the fourth and third row that will give you 1 triple 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 minus 5 3 and 4 times 0 now making the third row as a call as a leading one for that divide by minus 5 in third column that means minus 1 by 5 c3 that will give you 1 triple 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 3 and 4 times 0 now here in first three row and three column has identity matrices but in fourth column we have the entry three and making the three element has a three at which is zero for that apply the column operation c4 minus 3 c3 that will give you 1 triple 0 0 1 0 0 double 0 1 0 and 4 times 0 here this is our normal form that means we have the identity matrix 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 inside last column making the 0 and last row making the 0 that means our identity matrix that is 3 cross 3 then we can write i3 0 0 0 that is exactly we have to reduce to the in form of normal form and according to that we can say that rank of matrices that is 3 here our identity matrices is 3 then rank of matrices is 3 suppose here identity matrices which is 2 then i2 0 0 0 then our rank of matrices that is 2 suppose i4 then our rank of matrices is i4 this is all about the about the practice examples for the finding the rank by the elementary transformation method as well as reducing to the normal form which is try yourself this is all about the topics of the rank of matrices by elementary transformation method or reducing to the normal form i hope you guys you all are learn something from this video if you like this video then thumbs up if you think that this video will help some of your friends then do this share with them if you want to watch more tutorials like this then you can subscribe my youtube
channel and whenever I upload the new video, you get the notification. If you have any query regarding this topic, then feel free contact me. Thank you so much for watching me.